in this video I am going to discuss about Spearman rank relation coefficient that is we find the correlation coefficient using psychologist Charles Edward Spearman has found this method. Here the observations are given ranks and based on these ranks we find out the correlation coefficient and this method is de deals with the qualitative characteristics such as morality, character and intelligence and beauty. So, here unlike in Carl Pearson coefficient, unlike in Carl Pearson coefficient, here we will find out the qualitative characteristics not quantitative characteristics. And so, we, what is the formula of Spearman rank relation? The formula is given by 1 minus 6 into summation d i square by n into n square minus 1, where rho is rank co uh, coefficient of correlation and d i is after giving the ranks for the observations, sum of the squares of these ranks is given by d i square and n is number of the paired observations. And this rank relation coefficient should lie between minus 1 and 1. If the Spearman rank relation coefficient is equal to 1, then there is a perfect agreement in the order of the ranks and the direction of the rank is same. If rho is minus 1, then there is a complete disagreement in the order of the rank and they are in opposite direction. If rho is equal to 0, then x and y are even. Now, we will see an example. We have to obtain Spearman's rank relation coefficient for the marks scored by 7 students and the marks are given in statistics and mathematics. So, here we will first allot ranks to these marks and then find out the correlation coefficient. In statistics, we have to observe the marks and here this 73 is highest mark. So, I will allot rank 1 here. The next highest will be 71. So, 71 is allotted rank 2. Then 69 is the third highest, so a lot rank 3, then 68 is 4, 67 is 5 and 66 is 6 and 65 is 7. Similarly, mathematics marks are given, here also we observe that 72 is the highest, so 72 is allotted 1, then 71 is allotted 2, 70 is allotted 3. 69 is allotted 4, next highest is 68. So, 68 is allotted 5, then 67 is allotted 6 and last is 64 which is allotted 7. So, ranks for statistics marks is allotted and ranks for mathematics also is allotted. Now, we have to find out the difference between these marks. So, either we can take di as difference between x and y or x. So, first if I take di as x and y, x minus y. So, what we will have? So, first 7 minus 6 is 1, then 6 minus 7 is minus 1, 2 minus 5 is minus 3, 4 minus 1 is 3, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, 3 minus 4 is minus 1 and 5 minus 2 is 3. After finding the differences for the ranks, we will find out d i square. So, 1 square is 1, minus 1 square is 1, minus 3 square is 9, 3 square is 9, minus 2 square is 4 plus 1 and 3 square will be equal to 9. After finding d i square, we will sum up all the values. So, the total will be 34. So, summation d i square is equal to 34. Now, we will find out rank correlation coefficient using summation d i square value. So, we know that the Spearman rank correlation coefficient is given by 1 minus 6 into summation d i square by n into n square minus 1 and summation d i square value is 34 and we know that there are 7 observations. So, this will be 1 minus 6 into 34 by number of observations is 7. So, 7 into 7 square minus 1 and on simplifying this value, we will get the answer as 0 0.3928 and we know that the rank relation coefficient should lie between minus 1 and 1 and since 0.3928 is positive and it lie between minus 1 and 1 we can say that there is positive correlation between the ranks of the marks in mathematics and statistics. Thank you.